Hi, how are you everyone? Today's workout is Pilates reformer with short box. So if you have this kind of like night box, you can put the uh, over the uh, shoulder rest the box, okay? If you have no usual classical heavy box, you can put the box just again against the shoulder rest, okay? I'm gonna hold it now, just like that. Your foot bar is high position or vertical position. It's really, if you have this vertical position, put it on. If you don't have, you can keep it high, okay? Then, no, no spring position, then you can go to into the well, then having a sit bone, quite close to the edge of the carriage, okay? Then put your hands on the bar, okay? Your knees are bending nicely, but parallel legs. Second and third toe, middle of your ankle, knee, and hip bone in line. Your pelvis is just below, under the ribs, and it's the same plane, okay? Your head is nicely Pull it up towards the ceiling. So your hands are shoulder width, okay? Then now, as you exhale, just, you know, pull your navel in and drag your carriage a little bit. It's really sl sl slight motion, okay? Toward the foot bar, okay? So nicely tilting your pelvis down, under. Okay, then inhale coming up neutral position. Same plan, no extension. No extension on your lower back. Again, tuck your tail under, pull your navel in small, small, small. Okay, then inhale come back up. Let's do two more. Pull your navel in nicely, smoothly. Activate your lower core muscles, then inhale come up. Last one, pull your navel in, 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 gently, but keep your knee angle the same, and inhale, come back up. Now straighten both legs, front, heels on, four feet up, okay? Then, same way, you are just tuck your tail under, and now put your feet down, toes down, then slightly roll down a little bit more, Find your box against the back, then inhale and exhale, come up, starting posi position, okay? Again, inhale and exhale, tuck your tail under, your knees are start bending as you roll down gently, good. Find the box and inhale and exhale, slowly coming up, starting position, four feet up, again. Take your tail under using your core muscles gently, but keep your shoulders away from your ears. Feet down, knees are bending, sliding your carriage forward, touch the box nicely, and inhale and exhale, coming up. Let's do two more. Pull your navel in, tilt your pelvis nicely, gently, smoothly. Your neck is relaxed, okay? Then connect your pubic bone through your bottom of your sternum. Good. And inhale and exhale slowly, stack back up. Last one, gently, gently, nicely. Control your motion, being aware of, you know, nicely, nice movement on your spine and engagement of your core. And inhale and exhale slowly, coming up, nice. Okay, now put your hand in the middle, put your left hand in the middle, right arm going on the box, okay? Then from here, same way, but this time I feel nice, you know, obliques, okay? Tuck your head under, so you're not pushing in anything with your hands, so your hands are kind of like, Moving, bending nicely, just, you know, 
mechanical way and inhale and exhale slowly coming up. Again, tuck your tail under slowly, slowly. So your hands are relaxed, just try to reach more and more as your carriage going forward. Put back your right hand, then inhale and exhale, come up. Let's do two more. Inhale and exhale, pull your navel in, but still keep your square hips nicely. Good. Pull, 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 and really open your hands nicely, but still keeping here up because I don't want you to keep hiking the uh, shoulders. And inhale and exhale, come up. Last one. Pull your navel in nicely. Feel this diagonal muscle engagement. Good, then inhale and exhale, come up. Nice, find your square, then put your right hand on the bar, left hand coming towards the back. Nicely rotating from your waistline, okay? Then from here, same way, tuck your tail under, just pull your carriage towards the football, nicely, nicely. Nicely, but still keep nice this rotation from your waistline and inhale and exhale slowly. Coming up, good. Again, nicely twisting, then pull, pull, pull so that you can feel nice oblique engagement. Great. And inhale and exhale, come up. So try to both legs parallel, okay, and inhale and exhale. Roll, rolling this nicely, this spine. Good, and inhale and exhale, come up. Last one, pull your navel in gently, but keep your both hips square, both sits more nicely attached the uh, carriage. Okay, then inhale and exhale, coming up. Inhale both hands on the up. Uh, Foot bar, then close your carriage, just scooch back. Scooch back, scooch back, okay? Good. Now close your carriage completely, then have one red spring on, one heavy spring on, okay? Then from here. So if you have a vertical position, and if it's too close, you can have a high position here, okay? Let's hinging forward, so it's not rounding, okay? You're holding your hands just a little bit wider than the shoulder, okay? You are, both legs are start down, but as you are pressing out, you are lifting up and engage your inner thighs, okay? So you're pressing out, then lifting up, then hinging forward from your uh, hips. Okay, then inhale and exhale, just to stack back up and let the uh, feet down. Again, so still you're engaging your core to not extending your lower back, okay? Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Engage your inner thighs, okay? Then inhale and exhale, stack back up. Okay, again. Pull you from your navel, then hinging forward nicely. Good. Okay, then inhale and exhale. Come up. One more. Just lift your both feet up and hinging forward nicely, flat back. Okay, then from here, just bend your elbows. So inhale, bend, exhale, press out. So your navel is still engaged all the time without rounding anything, without extending anything, just keeping a nice neutral flat back and engage your inner sides. Let's do two more, press out. And last one, out. Then now from here, stack your spine up. Then as you're coming back, just extending your spine nicely, nicely, nicely. So keep your lower back attached on this box. And one more, press out. Okay, then just do extension. 
So keep your shoulders away from your ears, stack back up, find the box, then your upper back nicely. So extending your shoulder blades going closer into the spine, nice. Then slowly coming back, good. Okay, so now, if you have a vertical position of your foot bar, put it on this low position. Not all the way down in the middle. If you don't have this low position, you can put it down all the way. Okay, then you keep your red spring on. Then now, turn around on your right side, so coming on your knees, and your right thigh is attached on the box, okay? Then you uh, left foot coming on the uh, foot bar, nicely parallel. So your whole foot is attached, okay? So your knees are parallel to the floor, okay? Then keep a nice square hip. So at, adjust your position. If you have a long leg, you can go really go back, go back, go back, okay? And keep this nice parallel foot, okay? Then keeping nicely your weight in the center, nicely upright position. Still your pelvis and ribs are the same, same plane, okay? Then as you inhale, press your carriage out, straighten your left leg. So you're holding nicely this weight towards the ceiling. Then exhale, bend your left knee and close your carriage, or just come back, okay? Find a nice range of motion for you. Okay, inhale, press up. Exhale, come back in. Keep your square hips all the time and not, no hiking, not leaning, okay? Everything is upright because you're pulling pubic bone navel and you are staring them up towards the ceiling. Okay, good. Press out and come back nicely. So tighten your glutes, tighten nicely your core so that everything is stable. You are just, your knee, left knee is working on, but it's more core work than your leg work because it's a light spring. Good. Okay, so now press out. So nicely straight, don't hyper extending, okay? Then tighten your core, okay? Nicely holding, then from here, keep your weight center and open your right leg. Out, then exhale, come back, okay? So your left leg stay. Only your, open your right leg, out. Exhale, stretch, so feel taller when you close your carriage. Inhale, out. Exhale, come back. Let's do three more, out. And squeeze this inner side and feel taller. Two more, and close. Nice, come back to the center, last one, and close. Okay, so now turn out your left leg, but keep your right leg straight. So still try to so adjust your feet, foot position so that but you can keep your square hips, okay? Then, so actually close your carriage, then turn out. It's easier. Okay, then now from here, just straighten out without losing this weight in the center, press out and come back. So your toes are facing, reaching up towards the ceiling. Your knee is reaching up too, but keep your both nice flat uh, pelvis, okay? Then now, let's do two more press out. Good, last one out. Then come back halfway, then pulsing out. Out, small, because I want you to keep this nice stability on your torso. Good, four, three, two, one, and press out all the way, tighten your glutes, wrapping around nicely, good. Then slowly coming back in. Still keep turn out on your left foot, left leg. Put your toes on, okay? And then gently high heel. So your left heel connected to your sit bone. 
lift the seat board, okay? Then press out. Still keep your weight center and no rotation, okay? Then from here, lower your left heel down under your foot bar, then bend your knee, close your carriage, then lift up. Out and down and bend and come back and up. Out, lower and bend. So find your range of motion, okay? And up, out, lower, bend smoothly. Good, so keep your weight center, nice. Good, then up, out, lower, bend, last one, up, out, lower, and bend, and close. Good. So uh, your light is to spring on. So I have one yellow spring. This is my lightest one. It's a very light spring. If you don't have yellow, you can have, you must have blue spring. So use your blue. Okay. Then still keeping same side and sitting on the box, then finding your straps from the back. So not front strap, back strap. Okay. Holding nicely your uh, knees together, okay? Then first, bring your uh, both, so holding with your right hand on the strap, then make a fist and both hands together in front of, uh, front of your chest. Your elbows are nicely rounding, gently wide, okay? Keep your shoulders away from your ears. So try to have both sits bone heavy equally on the box, okay, then from here. Just inhale, arms up, exhale slowly, bring back in front of your chest, control. Inhale, arms up. So still keep, you know, this uh, fist uh, in front of your body, okay, inhale up. Without hiking your shoulders, exhale down, control. Let's do two more. Inhale up, exhale down. So tighten your core so you're not rounding here. Nicely upright, then inhale up. Good, exhale down. So you must feel this inner side. Inhale up, exhale, close here. Yeah. So lower down, good. Now, you are both feet start from this Rotation towards the uh, tower or the end of the reformer. Keep this still both square hips, okay? Then keep your shoulders away from your ears. Then you are twisting, so go to the uh, foot bar, okay? And slowly rotate back to the starting position. Keep your shoulders away, then your elbows and this shape of your arms are not changing. And still, all the time, your fists are reaching in front of your chest. Okay, and slowly, slowly control and come back. Inhale, rotate to the foot bar nicely. And exhale, slowly with control, come back, come back. Come back, let's do two more. Pull your navel in and reaching towards the foot bar to still keep the same distance. Okay, then slowly exhale, come back. Nice. And last one. Pull, pull, pull to the foot bar. And inhale and exhale, come back to the starting position. Then holding only with your right hand. Your left hand coming next to your hips, okay? Just, you know, touching this box, okay? Then having a bend your elbows and nicely. Okay, let's do punching, twisting and punching, okay? So this time you're punching, as you're punching, your upper back is nicely rounding, but still pull your navel up towards your nose. Then exhale, come back. Inhale, punching and twist. We still keep both hips down and slowly coming back. 
nicely punching and you must feel your right shoulder blades going go wrapping around your right arm. Good. Let's do two more punching nicely. Control and exhale slowly. Come back. Last one punching. Yes. Then slowly close your carriage. Not completely. Okay. Let's switch hands. So you, now your right hand going next to your side. Okay. Then now bend your elbows first. Okay. Then pulling out, open your arms. Okay, then now, kind of like stirring the pot, you are just rounding, 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 and twisting. Look at this upright on the back side, then coming back, center. So, pull, inhale, okay? Then exhale, reach your arm, like a circular motion, front, and look back, and coming back. But keep your square hips nicely. Inhale. And exhale, nice smooth movement and slightly twisting and coming back. Let's do two more, out, nicely. So keep your left shoulder down, down, down and look down, look back and pull and out and nicely reach your arm forward and back, back, back. And slowly come back in, close your carriage. Good. Okay. Before doing other, the other side, have one blue spring on. So if you, if you already have blue spring, keep it. I switched to the blue from the yellow. Okay. So now facing the tower, or oh, just end of the football, nicely sitting. You can have both knees crossed together in the middle of your body, okay? Then you can cross the uh, straps nicely. Bend your elbows, okay? Then from here, you are just open your forearms out to the side, okay? Keep nicely upright position on your torso. So Nicely open and feel your nice, this external rotation, okay? You must feel your back and this nice openness of your shoulders. Good. So gently pulling out and close, controlling. Open, open, open. Your navel are nicely in and up. Your elbows are kind of like pivoting, so these elbows position are not changing, okay? Let's do one more. Pull and come back, okay? Let's add a little bit. From here, just pull, same way. Then now, you're just open, the like kind of victory. Move, then slowly lower down, bend your elbows next. You are rest, then coming back. Inhale, open. Exhale, up. Hold without hiking your shoulder. Don't flare up your chest. Okay, then slowly bend your elbow next to your wrist. Then slowly come back. Inhale. Exhale, nicely wide. Inhale, bring back in. And exhale, come back. Let's do two more. Open to the side nicely. So without too much extending your wrist and exhale up nicely. Wide victory and bend your elbows. Your elbows is very heavy and slowly come back. Last one. Out and up. The shoulders are down. Keep your crown of the head reaching up towards the ceiling then bend your elbows and come back in. Nice. Still keep this crossed uh, strap. Put your uh, ribs around your elbows, okay? Then you have both elbows are 90 degree away, really far from your chest, but it's a shoulder height, okay? Not above your shoulders, okay? Then your both palms are facing each other. 
or as you inhale, open your arms to the side and gently squeeze your shoulder blades without popping up your chest. Okay, and inhale, exhale, come back in. Inhale, open. Good. Exhale, come back. Inhale, open. So without lifting up anything, you are just holding nicely. Good. Inhale, open. Close your lips. Exhale, slowly come back. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades like bird eye. Good. And exhale, come back. One more here. And slowly coming up. Okay, so now let's add one more thing. Inhale, press out. Then from here, you just reach. So without moving your carriage, reach your arms up straight towards the ceiling, then bend slightly right, then coming back to the starting position. Good. Inhale, open nicely while gently squeezing your shoulder blades first, then flatten your back and reach your arms overhead, but still pushing nicely these loops towards the back so that you can keep your carriage steady, then bend and slowly coming back. Let's do two more, open, nicely up, straight up, reaching, 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 then bend and come back. Last one, open, nicely wide, squeeze, then feel your shoulder breath open and up. Good, then slowly bend and come back in. Great, okay, take the straps out, first put into the pegs, back, okay, then if you have yellow spring, switch on your yellow, or if you don't have, keep your uh, blue spring on. I'm gonna switch to my yellow, then find your, uh, so facing the other side, then find your back strap with your left hand. Okay, so both knees are together, nicely sitting or the top of your sits bone, okay? So first, making your fist with both hands, okay? Then your uh, fists are just in front of your chest nicely, your elbows are gently rounding. Then reach your both fists up just above your forehead. Then as you exhale, slowly lower down. So without leaning or rotating anything, and slowly exhale, lower down. Inhale, reach up, 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 but keep your shoulders away from your ears and exhale down. Inhale, reach up nicely without changing this arm shape and slowly lower down. Let's do two more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Still your fist and your chest are same. Distance, when you come back, exhale, come back. Good, okay, so now, close your carriage. Good, okay, now, twist, start twisting. Look at this back strap, okay? But keep both hips square as possible, like your both hip bone is uh, like headlight of your car and facing all the time front, and you're twisting around your Rest line, okay? Then inhale, twist, 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 and towards the football, okay? And exhale slowly, come back to the starting position. So it's a nice full range of motion of your rotation, great. And inhale and exhale slowly, come back, okay? Inhale, twist, pull your navel in and up towards the ceiling. You're nicely rotating from your axis, then exhale, come back in. Let's do three more twist. Keep your shoulders down and exhale slowly, control and come back. Two more, pull, pull, pull nicely, but without changing this arm shape and slowly come back. Last one. Pull, 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 and nicely twisting. Left shoulder down and slowly control and close your carriage. Good. Now, your right hand coming next to the box, then your 
left hand, left elbows bending gently in front, slightly in front of your chest. Okay, then uh, punching toward the football, gently side bending, don't extend, don't lean back. Okay, then inhale and exhale, come back. Okay, so pull your navel in, okay, and punching. Okay, then nicely feel uh, this openness of your left shoulder blades going toward the left arm. Nicely, good, and slowly coming back. Let's do three more punching nicely. Gently twist and punching. And punching forward towards the football, but keep your left butt heavy, heavy, heavy. Punching, good. And slowly come back. Last, last one, punch, good. And slowly coming back, good. Switch hand. Now your left hand coming attached on the box. Your right elbow bending nicely in front of your chest. Then gently open. Okay, then now reaching your arm front, then the circular motion, rotating back, good. Then inhale, pull and open. Nicely, keep your shoulder down and reaching front and nicely rotating, rotating, rotating. Good, but keep your both hips square and reaching forward, really nicely feeling this shoulder breath going over the right arm. Good, and open, inhale. Exhale, slowly reaching, 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 and rotating back. Last one, pull out. Keep your shoulder down and reaching forward, long arm. And nicely rotating back. Great. And coming back in, put your uh, straps into the peg. And now, and put your right spring on the foot bar. Okay, still keep facing the same side. Okay, now put your uh, Left knee next to the box and attach the nicely. Right foot on the uh, foot bar parallel, okay? Then from here, just press your carriage out nicely. So tighten your glutes, both square hips. Keep your weight center, then bend, bend and close, okay? So adjust your foot position comfortable way. Okay, inhale, press out. Yeah, without losing the connection. Okay, keep your axis nice and inhale, press out. Exhale, close slowly. Keep your legs parallel as possible and inhale, press out. Good, exhale, slowly close. Keep your square hips and press out. Exhale, slowly come back. Try to put down this whole foot on the bar, nicely attached. Okay, and press out and come back in, then next time press out and stay, then open your left knee out, pushing your, this box out, then slowly coming back, still keep your right leg straight, okay? Out, and pull your inner side toward, from your inner side, pubic bone towards your nose, then inhale out, exhale, pull, 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 come back in, Press out nicely, so without sagging anything, okay? Let's do two more out and in. Keep your, uh, no rotation, really square, everything good. Okay, then slowly coming back. Okay, so now turn out your leg. So turn out your right leg, okay, your heel on, okay? Still have a nice square hip, so your toes and knee, your right toes and right knee is gently reaching up towards the ceiling. Okay, then press out, inhale. Okay, then exhale slowly coming back. Inhale, press out. Exhale slowly coming up using your side of your glutes and slowly coming up. Pull your navel up towards your nose, nice. Good, and press out. 
and in and let's do two more and in last one press out then close then now halfway pause open this carriage then pausing out 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 using this group nicely six five four three two one and press out all the way then slowly close your carriage nicely okay then now put your toes on still turn out gently okay nice square hips high heel okay then press out keep your heels up and press out then now as your legs are straight lower your heels down okay then keep your heels down and bend your knee and lifting up at the end and press out and bend your knee and so lower your heels then bend your knee then close and up and out down and bend good and up out down and bend okay so inhale inhale exhale come back in so inhale inhale exhale exhale let's do two more out good then down and in up out down and keep it down down and close your yeah, carriage good then put your both knee down okay come down let's have the, all the springs on okay sitting facing the football and sitting nicely and find your uh, foot strap so against your uh, feet okay so you have just make a space just at least one hand width from your hips and back of the box okay your legs are nicely wide and turn out okay then you first you're nicely sitting upright position your sit bone is really attached okay then put your hands like genie position and lift your elbows up nicely if your shoulders are nicely down away from your ears so look at straight forward okay and then as you exhale pull your navel in and inhale come up exhale pull your navel in inhale come up let's do one more just your pelvis and come up okay so now let's do roll down so tuck it in under and roll back down nicely but still connect your pubic bone navel and bottom of your sternum and that's it hold keep your shoulders very down and pull scooping more to come up nicely then a little bit going forward then stack back up again exhale pull your navel into your under and roll down nicely great but still so connect the dot through the stern sternum okay then pull more this dot this line more and scooping scooping then you can little bit forward forward and come up again tuck your tail under and slowly roll down roll down roll down your elbows is not going up keeping reaching far away from your chest then inhale and exhale pull your navel in and coming up and stuck Okay, so now let's add the rotation. So pull your navel in and roll down nicely. So connect this part front. Okay, then now inhale, rotate to your right. Keep your both shoulders down. Okay, both hips down. Exhale, come back to the center. Inhale, rotate to your left. Exhale, come back. Pull your navel in and coming back up nicely. Okay, again, tuck your tail under, roll down, good. Then now rotate to your left. Keep both shoulders away from your ears, your rotation coming from your waist. Exhale, center, inhale, twist towards your right. 
nice and inhale center pull your navel in and pull 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 and slowly come up one more each side Tuck your tail under, roll down, roll down. Nice to keep your shoulders away from your ears and inhale, twist to your right. Nicely. Your elbow is still far away from your chest. Then exhale, come back. And inhale to towards your right. Exhale, center. Inhale and exhale. Pull, pull your navel in, in, in. And coming back up. Last one. Pull your navel in, nicely roll down. Okay, then inhale, twist. Exhale, center. Inhale, twist to your right. Engage this oblique, then slowly come back to the center and inhale and exhale, pull, pull, pull. And slowly coming up. Good, you did really great. Okay, so now, Take the uh, foot, foot strap out. So keep two red springs on, then take the rest of the springs out. Okay, still keep this nice low position. Then put your uh, both balls of the feet attached and have a nice Pilates V position, heels together, toes apart. Okay, your knees are nicely bent. Then scooch forward, coming really close to the front edge of the reformer, okay? Then put your hands next to your thighs, okay, in the front of the uh, carriage. Okay, then now from here, you're nicely round the back, okay? So you are looking at your pubic bone or your navel, you're nicely having the C curve, so you're not collapsing, you're just holding your shoulders is slightly forward, okay? Then your elbows are slightly wide, gently holding. This isn't just your support, you're not pushing with your arms, okay? Or your legs too much, it, you're pushing from your navel and straighten your legs. Okay, then lower your heels down, inhale up, then exhale, come back in. Good. Again, so no tension too much on your shoulders and arms. Inhale, press up. Exhale, away, he's done, and inhale up. Exhale, come back in. Okay, let's do it quite quickly. Press out, down and up, and come back in. Okay, inhale, start pushing and exhale. Inhale, exhale, come back in. Let's do two more. Good. Okay, so now, still keep your toe, balls of the feet on. Then this time you scooch your back. You're nicely attached to your back on this box, okay? Then have a parallel legs this time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring your hands, reaching back nicely. You can hold the uh, side of the box or the uh, just the corner or the back. It's really up to you. But I want you to keep this not too much rolling forward. These shoulders nicely holding and don't hyperextending your elbows. Okay? No uh, ankle flexion. You're just pressing out. Okay? Then slowly control and come back. So keeping this lower back nicely. Attach in neutral, okay? And press up, and in. Press out, and in. Press out, and in. Quite quickly, hard, in. It's good. Three, two, and one. Good, and now, close your carriage, reach your arms up, and slowly lower forward. Okay, then really reaching your fingertips forward. Okay, then this time let's add the rotation as you inhale and press out. You open your arms to the right arm to the back. Okay, then exhale, come back in. Inhale out. Exhale, come back in. Alternate nicely. And you still keep your back attached to this box nicely. Good. Breathe. Shh. 
and nicely twisting so then you are, when front arm is really reaching forward, back arm is reaching back. And breathe. In, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, reach, shh, reach, and shh, and slowly close your carriage and put your feet down. You can come, stand up, okay? One spring, one red spring on, one heavy spring on. Okay, take the other one out. Okay, then footba is coming up high position. Let's do single leg, knee, standing knee stretch, okay? If you have really high reformer, or if you are short like me, you can have your yoga block or something uh, underneath of your uh, right foot, okay? Put your uh, left foot quite, in the, quite close to the center, okay? So that you can keep nice square hips here. Your both knees the same plane, okay? Then put your both hands nicely. First, you're rounding your back, okay? So your tailbone is reaching down, your head is reaching down, look at your navel, and pull your navel up and in, okay? Then from here, just kick out, and in, kick out, and in. Your right knee is soft, and you can feel these glutes, and come back in, and both outer side and inner side are nicely engaged, and kick back, and in, from your navel, good, three, good, two, and one, good, okay. Close your carriage completely, then have a nice flat back. So you can just a little bit to sit back here, okay, not extending, just to flatten your back. Okay, then shoulders are away from your ears, you're looking just uh, at the corner of the room, okay, then press out, and in. Out, in, with out, changing the position, the, your back. Good, and press out, in, breathe. Good, four, three, and two, and one. Then now hold it nicely, okay? Then really tighten your core, keeping a nice flat back and square hips, then lift your right foot up and touch the uh, box, then come back in and touch, and come back, and touch, and come back. Engage your armpit and your back. Good, two, come back. And last one, touch, and come back, and close your carriage. Good, then nicely open your chest. Great. Okay. Then you can come on the carriage, tent your feet against your box. So you can just sit first. You're gonna do plank, pike, and squat. And the magic number is three. So you can coming on your plank position the three times piking. Okay? Then coming back, so then you are just squatting three times. Then let's do three repetitions of this three. Okay? So you are first, you're coming up. Find your uh, put bar with your both hands. You, the, you're holding with nice, this base of your palms nicely. Okay? Then press out, plank. Okay? Then three times piking. So pull your navel in and coming back to your plank. Two more and out. Nicely using your core, last one, and now coming back, then now bend your knee, close your carriage, then from here, reach your arms forward, then coming up, okay, three times, squatting, lower and up, lower and up, last one, then now kind of like hinging, and slightly knees bending, then come back, Find your foot bar nicely, then plank and pike. Plank and pike. Last one. And pike. Then press out. Then bend your knee, close and slowly. Keep your butt up and reach your arms up. Then coming up. 
it's too much, you can just come in lower down, okay? Then it's just gently squat up, lower down, up, keep your both legs aligned, okay? Then now slightly hinge at your hips and your knees are bending, find your tba and plank position. Again, pike and out, pike, reach your tailbone up, last one, pike, and out, then bend your knees, cross, 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 this is the last, squatting here, okay, then bend, and up, lower, and up, last one, down, and up, and bend your knees, hinging, and find the football, and you can sitting down, good. Okay, you can bring your right foot over your left knee and make a kind of figure four position. Then you can find your side of your box, then hinge four to relax your back, back muscles. For my big breathing. Good, then inhale and exhale, come up, switch side, left ankle coming over your right knee, hands are stay there, to the side, then hinging nicely. And one more big breathing. Good, inhale and exhale, come up, great. Then let's sit side, so you're, now you're going to touch your left foot down and right foot attached against the box, okay? So first let's do round, rounding back and knee stretch. Okay, nice, you're rounding, keep your elbows straight, look down, okay, let's soften your left knee, then kick out from your navel. Out and in, out and in, still so keep nice square hips, good, and six, five, four, three, two, and one, good, and close your carriage nicely, okay, then now sit back slightly, nice square hips and nice flat back, okay. Then from here, soften your left knee, then kick back, and in, kick back, and in, breathe. Nicely, great, good, five, four, three, two, and kick back, and stay here. Then really tighten your core, keep your, so engage your arm, fit nicely, bring your shoulder blades back towards your hips. Nice, you have a square hip, then coming up and touch and coming down. So lift your right, left leg up and touch and coming down. Let's do three more, up and touch. Good, nice plank position, keep your shoulders away from your ear. Good, last one, up and touch. And slowly coming down, close your carriage. Good. Then now have keep this. Uh, okay. So again, put back all the springs on. Okay, so that your carriage doesn't move anymore, and find your foot strap again, then facing her right side. Okay, then put your uh, right, so you're sitting on the box and you can have a real right foot just hooking here in front or you can have a bending the front. It's really up to you. But I just want you to keep both hips as square as possible here. Okay, and just press your uh, foot strap, okay, then Lift your, so first nicely upright. Lift your uh, both arms to the side. Okay, then inhale, reach long. Then exhale, 
just to slow it lower, and then nice three-sided bend. Bend, bend, bend. Good. Yes. So far, it's, it can be scary, scary, but you can just find a nice range of motion. Okay. Good. Then inhale and exhale. Come up. Let's do side uh, counter stretch. Good. Okay, again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, come up. Nicely. So you can bring your hand down or towards the box, or you can put on this headrest. It's really up to you. Okay, so now have, put your hands behind your head. Your elbows are slightly forward, okay, not back or not narrow. Okay, then from here, find a nice straight line on your side. Okay, then as you exhale, lifting up. So still keep nicely long rest line, then inhale and exhale, come back. Neutral, not going down. Okay, then exhale up. Good, then in and exhale, come down, straight. Exhale up. Inhale and exhale down. So really everything is getting long, not crunching. And your elbows is stay same position. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. And one more. Lifting up, up, up. Good, then reaching nicely straight. Good, then now put your right hand down, then stretching down. Good. Then now rotate your torso, find your uh, frame of the reformer with each hand. Okay, then have a nice rotation and nice stretching your spine. Good. Nice. Breathe. Good. Then coming back, side bending again, one more time. Okay, then inhale and exhale, come up all the way. Then have a nice counter stretch. Good, and inhale and exhale, come up. Let's switch side. Okay, you can have left foot, left leg, hooking in the front or bending nicely. Okay, just Make sure you have a nice square hips. Okay, then first nicely upright and arms are to the side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, just side the bending. Nicely reach your left arm up over to the tower. If you have tower for the end of the reformer, good. Nicely, then inhale up, then exhale. Slowly have a nice counter stretch. Good. Again, come up and slide and side bending nicely. Very nice, long, both side. Good. Then now put your both hands behind your head. Your hand against your head, your head against your hands. Okay, nicely elbows wide, having a nice neutral line. Good, keep your shoulders away from your ears. Then exhale, come up. Inhale, then exhale, reach. Crown of the head really reaching straight out. And inhale, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale up. Nice, really long. And exhale, down. Exhale, up. Inhale, and exhale, reach. And exhale, up. Keep your shoulders away from your ears and your elbows is slightly front but not narrow and let's do two more keep your neck long and up and lower exhale last one up and inhale and exhale coming down then this time we're already coming on the side bending good then rotating and find the frames Okay, then nicely. You can stretching on the back, lower back, mid back, upper back. Good. Breathe. Nicely. 
Good, one more side bending again. Good, then slowly inhale and exhale, come up. Let's do counter stretching. Good, then slowly take the foot strap out, then coming, so facing the box, okay? Then you're coming on the box and you are hip on coming quite close to the front edge of the box. Okay. Then, so let's do some extension here. Bring your elbows down on the frame, okay? Just quite just below your shoulders. Okay, put your hands on, okay? Your fingers are nicely open, okay? Then, Press your palms down, then lifting up nicely. Okay, so crown of the head very reaching up diagonally. Keep your shoulder breath nicely back and in. And inhale and exhale slowly, coming down. So if you like more range of motion, bring your hands more close to your box. Okay, then. Inhale and exhale, come up, 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 okay. But still keep your hip bones really down on the box. Nicely squeeze your shoulder blade. And inhale and exhale, come down. Let's do one more. Pre press that your hands down and bring your shoulder blades back, back, back. Good, and inhale. And exhale slowly. Come down. Good. Then if you like, if you don't like, you can just go back and have a child's pose. Okay. If you like to go upside down, you can lower your hands down on the floor. Okay, then have your forehead, forehead, forearms down. Okay, then find a nice but still keep this your hips kind of like at the edge. Okay, then relax your neck, reaching towards the floor. Okay, nicely, nicely. Good. If you don't feel good on this position, you can have a just sit back and have a child's pose. Okay, but if you like, sometimes it's very good to be upside down. You can have a nice circulation of your blood. But don't stay long either, okay? Then coming back to the center, push your hand down and coming up gently. Then slide to back, find your knees on the carriage, then gently put your uh, tailbone down towards the spring, okay? Then you can have a nice, you can have attached your forehead on the box and gently fall. Okay, pushing down, okay, and inhale and exhale. One more big breathing. Good, and slowly coming up. Good, and we are done for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this short box exercise it was quite full body and athletic workout okay but it's still safe to for your back and everything i'm gonna upload more videos so if you are interested please subscribe to my channel so that you get notified of my new videos okay thank you and see you soon bye